Welcome to ATDI. Today's webinar is discussing and presenting SGZ Warfare's capability in modeling, simulating, and analyzing tactical manned networks operating in the VHF UHF bands. We will also present the use of um, the use case of um, automation and third-party integration to simplify the entire end-to-end -end process. The webinar will be around 10 to 15 minutes. My name is Yaya, I'm based in Sydney and I'm part of the global ATDI family. Today's topics are as follows. First, we will give you a very brief introduction to Manet, just to put things in perspective. After that, we will open a sample project and explain the model. Finally, we will run some simulations and discuss the outcome. MANET stands for Mobile Ad Hoc Network. It is a contrary to star topology, where the network is primarily dependent on main centralized base station. MANET is decentralized network where the network formed on the fly and continuously self-configured. The range of the network is extended every time you have a new mobile on the ground or in the sky. With soldiers moving, they are effectively moving the network with them without physically moving infrastructure. Hence, the mobile is an endpoint and a relay at once. And that's very, very important for self-healing um, concept. Manet networks are driven by tactical routers, allowing them to automatically discover the optimum route of traffic, whether it's a voice or a data over IP. They also make it resilient due to discovery or auto discovery of standby alternative connections and routes between the different endpoints. Today's tactical manet are SDR based and can deliver high throughput. They are also generally IP based, allowing many applications to run on the top of them. The components um, we are going to focus on in our demo are, are the CC or the command control, the MU machine unit and RE, which is the range extender. There are other components, but we are focusing more on the RF components. Command control or command center, um, we are referring to a reference, a reference location where all, all the mission units need to establish a connection with or directly or indirectly through an intermediaries. Mission units are referring to endpoints such as soldiers, man pack, tactical radio or a vehicle, um, a vehicle radio. The range extenders, we may also refer to them as nodes. These are portable equipment that can be deployed in order to further extend the range of the manet through deploying them in strategic locations. Such as, um, such equipment allows to create bigger um, manet networks by combining multiple smaller manet networks. Part of the webinar today is to show you how to efficiently and effectively plan a new range extenders.